There are concerns tonight over the water quality for some homes in Middlesex County, New Jersey. Elevated levels of a potentially harmful chemical have been detected. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch has more. A contaminant flows through this tap water, porfluoroactanoic acid, or PFOA for short. It's unbelievable. PFOA was detected in samples from our treatment facility in South Plainfield. This part of a letter from Middlesex Water Company sent to valued customers. This South Plainfield resident received the letter about two weeks ago. Getting the first letter in the mail was a little like, oh, do we have to, like, can we even bathe in this water anymore? We cut off with Susan Bitterman and Merrill Show Noble in mid conversation about water dispensers. After learning about PFOA in their water, they both feel they need one. It sounds like the healthiest choice. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> it's horrible, and they're doing nothing to accommodate what we're going through. We reached out to Middlesex Water Company. A spokesperson shares the company is feverishly working on an interim solution, adding we are building a plant to comply with the new regulation. Middlesex Water Company wants its customers to know water quality has not changed. Regulations have. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection established a new concentration limit. 40 parts per trillion dropped to 14. That's why these standards are in place to, to protect human health. Chris Gobler, director of the New York State Center for Clean Water Technology, says it's worth noting New Jersey's neighbor, the Empire State Standard, now sits at 10. If you have a water supply that's above that, and that's the water you're drinking every single day, and you're exposed to it every single day, you know, there could be harm. PFOA, used historically in firefighting foam and household items like nonstick pans, are forever chemicals that build up over time. Goldler says prolonged exposure can lead to cancer, problems with the thyroid, liver, immune system. Most at risk, the young and immunocompromised. He urges protect yourself. Use granular activated carbon water filters. Bottled water, also an option. From Middlesex County, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.